Uh, hi, I'm Louis Rosenberg, CEO of Unanimous AI. And I was asked uh, to take five minutes to kick things off with a quick presentation. Uh, so here goes. I'll be talking about uh, the metaverse, making safety matter, and giving just a, a quick overview of, uh, of the issues. First, a couple words about myself. Uh, I've been involved in the metaverse for, uh, for over 30 years, uh, going back to 1991 when I started doing research at Stanford and NASA on virtual reality. Uh, this led me uh, actually to Air Force Research Laboratory in 1992, where I developed the virtual fixtures platform. Uh, that's me at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, uh, building what was really the first functional augmented reality system. Uh, then in 1993, I founded Immersion Corporation, uh, one of the early VR companies. In 2004, I founded Outland Research, one of the early augmented reality companies. And, uh, and right now I'm CEO of Unanimous AI an artificial intelligence company. All that's to say that I've been excited about the metaverse and the potential for over 30 years. Uh, I still am very excited about it, uh, but I'm also very concerned about the risks uh, and really have been for the last 10 years. Uh, before I jump into that, I think it's worth just saying, uh, well, what is a metaverse? It's this new word that's uh, really taken over the field of virtual and augmented reality. I like to define metaverse as really a societal transformation from flat media viewed in the third person to immersive media experienced in the first person. In other words, it's a transition where users go from observers on the outside to participants on the inside. It can be fully virtual world where the people are avatars interacting, that's a virtual metaverse, or it can be layers of virtual content overlaid on the real world, that'd be an augmented metaverse. And so with that said, what are the metaverse risks? It's, it's not the technology that we should fear, it's the extreme power that metaverse platforms will have over consumers uh, by virtue of, uh, of controlling these platforms. Uh, in the metaverse, the platforms will be able to monitor and manipulate all aspects of our lives at a level that no other technology has so far uh, yet enabled. And so let's just look at those in more detail. Monitoring users, uh, we're all very aware that social media companies uh, monitor and profile users, tracking where you click, what you buy, who your friends are. Um, in the metaverse, this will go much, much further. Metaverse platforms will be able to track uh, where you go in the metaverse, whether it's uh, a fully virtual world or in the real world, uh, continuously tracking you, uh, what you do, track uh, where you look, track how long your gaze lingers. You could be walking down the street in the real world with augmented reality headset or glasses and you look in a store window and uh, the platform will know where you look, know where you don't look. Uh, they'll track your gait, they'll know when you slow down, know when you speed up. Uh, they'll even track your posture your, to infer your emotion and interest levels um, as you interact through your day. Metaverse platforms will also monitor your facial expressions, monitor your vocal inflections, uh, and use those to infer your emotions throughout the day. They'll even monitor your vital signs. Uh, this is already uh, widespread with the use of smartwatches, uh, but companies are already building these into earbuds, and, um, and there's a lot of work to use this for tracking emotions, uh, for things like advertising, tracking your heart rate, tracking your respiration rate, tracking your pupil dilation, tracking your galvanic skin response. Uh, so ultimately in the metaverse, uh, platforms will be able to track your whole life, what you do say, experience and feel. And uh, there's a privacy concern, but it's actually much more than that when we then consider what you can do with all this information, which is to manipulate users. So again, in social media, uh, all this tracking is done so that uh, they can then use targeted advertising, targeted news feeds, targeted member invitations, based on all the information they have about their user populations. And this has created problems. Um, it's, it's built echo chambers uh, in, in social media that has polarized society, driving misinformation and disinformation, a loss of trust in institutions, um, real problems. Well, in the metaverse, this is gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. Uh, because the whole point of VR and AR is to fool the senses. And so uh, in the metaverse, targeting, in other words, advertising and propaganda, uh, will not be pop-up ads and promo videos. They will be immersive uh, experiences. And so manipulating users in the metaverse will mean things like virtual product placements and virtual people. Uh, virtual product placements will be targeted experiences injected into your world uh, by 
third parties uh, for a fee. Uh, you can see products in your world, uh, events in your world that you think are just natural parts of, of your experience, but they actually were put there specifically for you to experience. And that's dangerous because they could be indistinguishable from authentic serendipitous encounters. Same thing with virtual people. Uh, there will be AI controlled avatars that are put into the world for promotional purposes and actually engage you in promotional conversation. Um, they will become indistinguishable from authentic members of the world. And these promotional avatars will have access to all the history that was collected, your likes, your wants, your needs, your tendencies, your behaviors. They will also be tracking your emotions through your facial expressions, vocal inflections, vital signs. This means they will be able to pitch you and manipulate you and persuade you more skillfully than any human salesman. And that's dangerous. And so uh, all that said, just to set this up, uh, if we look forward over the next 10 years to the metaverse, uh, I believe that the metaverse will happen in a big way. It will transform society uh, from flat media to immersive media. It will affect everybody's life. I believe the risks will be similar, but much worse than today's social media, which means the time is now to think about metaverse regulation and other proactive things we can do to make sure that the metaverse is safe uh, as we go through this transition from the flat media to immersive media of tomorrow. And with that, uh, we can kick off the discussion. Thanks.